All right. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, oh, we have to, I have to do a screen share. All right. You got it, bestie. Yeah, no, we're all over this. You and me, you and yeah, me, man. We got it, Steve. We're on top of this thing. You oh, yeah. We're so good. So good. There we go. I see it. All right. And there you are. So I firstly want to start by saying this is much less of a project and was much more of an adventure for me personally. This was probably the most fun and also stress I've gone through in a really, really long time. Um, next slide, please. Okay. Um, there we go. So my initial attentions were to make a line of denim like jeans. Um, and the first pair that I created, as you can see here on the screen, are an homage to my transition from baggy jeans to skinny jeans. I used all the way back till I was like five or something. <laughs> Next slide. So the next two pairs of jeans, you could say, um, were the second pair here. I cleverly like to call them the ex-boyfriend jeans because they have the same fit as boyfriend jeans, but they're two pairs of men's pants that have been like torn. So it's like cutting up your ex-boyfriend's clothes. I thought it was funny. Um, but after completing this third pair of jeans, I sort of fell into a bit of a slump. Part of my like getting ready for applying to college and scholarships, life sort of just caught up with me, if you will. Next slide. Around the same time as I got accepted into school for fashion and video, I also learned that us seniors will be having a prom, which is absolutely thrilling. And the theme for our prom is Met Gala. Um, the particular year that me and my best friend were completely obsessed with my prom date, mind you, this is her dress, um, was the Met Gala 2018 Heavenly Figures year. Um, so as I'm sure many of you did when you found out that you, we get prom, is you opened a Pinterest board and started coming up with some ideas. Next slide. So after getting together with uh, Fiona and discussing our ideas, uh, we sketched together some designs. This was the initial drawing for Fiona's dress and the drawing for mine. I wanted to challenge myself and I'd never make in like a full dress, something funny I said is I'd never make in anything nice before. Um, so this is like the first piece that I made um, completely nice and like professional and proper looking. Um, next slide, please. So after, um, measuring myself and Fiona, uh, it was time to get all the supplies that I needed in order to pull this thing off. So me and my dearest mother, whom I love dearly, took me to uh, Osgoods in West Springfield, which is this huge textile um, store to get supplies. The first thing that like really caught my eye was um, in the beginning or beginning in the front of the store, there were these like 100% like Italian made um, tapestries and I was absolutely obsessed. I thought that this would completely encapsulate the like concept of Fiona's um, like Cinderella-esque dress. Next slide. So after getting my supplies, it was time to begin assembling. Um, this project had a lot of firsts for me. Um, my first part of it was figuring out where and how I was going to attach this to the front. And I ended up on um, deciding to turn this into sort of a like corset bodice here. 
Um, this was also the first time I had ever used a uh, pattern fabric. So that was very interesting and exciting. Next slide, please. So after having Fiona back over, once I had mo mostly everything sewn and patched together, it was time to make adjustments. This is usually like the biggest part of making garments is the adjustments and readjustments and having your model put the garments back on and readjusting it. So that's what we did for about six hours worth of time. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, actually quite a, a few days ago, I had completely finished putting together Fiona's dress. And the last thing to do was to insert this zipper here in the back. Next slide, please. So it was time for me to step back into my comfort zone. Most of the clothes that I wear are things that I have found something old and made it new. So as you can see is the original dress at the top left and the process of making this dress was I had just cut the top clean off and there was another layer of tool and lace fabric and I've also cut that off and I'm gonna be repurposing it for another piece of the costume. Um, and this corset was just bought. I am not feeling confident enough to make like a full corset with like the binding. Um, next slide. Yeah, that's all. So as you can see on the dresses, um, most everything is relatively simple on the final dress. I didn't want to leave. I wanted to leave some things to surprise. Um, you guys getting motion sickness? <laughs> Just try picking up the whole tripod, maybe. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Um, the top, this is so uh, the attached pieces are lace tool here up at the top and at the bottom of the dress down here. And uh, one of my favorite details is here on the side. I don't have it completely laced up because this dress form is actually slightly bigger than the person it is for. So it does not completely fit on this dress form. I'm not sure if you can see on the video, but I would also encourage everyone here to like come and like look at the dresses if you feel so inclined. But there, my mom got me a new sewing machine um, not necessarily for this, just in general. And there are a lot of nice, really pretty embroidery designs. So I have like a loop design here among this, like along the seams. And I was thinking of adding more. Yep. And that's all. So Alexa, we, we have we, we do have a few minutes for questions. Yes, I'm sorry, them, uh, yeah. So uh, if you're online, you can type your question into the uh, chat, and I can read it out loud for the audience. Uh, if you're asking a question from the audience, hopefully Alexa will repeat the question for you, uh, so that the online people can hear it. Uh, who? Anyone have questions for Alexa on this design? This was definitely a sewing challenge. Mm -hmm. um, very, very literally blood, sweat, and tears went into these dresses. Um, I spent probably like accumulatively like a full 48 hours on like just sewing and working on these dresses. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this was definitely a challenge. So I'd like to add a follow-up to that one. Um, 
you were saying something about how this this style of dress is not something you've worked with before. No. So you started out this whole thing with jeans, right? Yes. And fascinating. I can't. I have to tell you, I love the ex-boyfriend jeans. I love the whole concept of it. That, and having been several people's ex-boyfriend, I um, can appreciate that. Um, so, and then you made a major transition, but you've done fashion work before, right? Yes. So what what has been your aesthetic up until the jeans and and up until this project? Um, I would consider my style to be like more grungy how would you say like purposeful ripped clothing and like a lot of like chains and pins like safety pins a lot of like black yeah. if you couldn't tell um cole and then jody no no, no cole and then jody after i just don't want to forget Yes. So something that um, I guess I had to learn the hard way is when you're working on such light fabric, uh, you can really like see the seams, you can see what you've done. So the first time I attempted to uh, sew the bottom hems of the skirt together, it was, it was not, it was not cute. And I had to just completely like rip, like re rip out the seams and flatten all the uh, fabric again. Whereas for like darker colors like this, using like black thread on black fabric, you can make mistakes and no one's gonna be able to tell. Yeah. Uh, hands down, Fiona's dress. Um, reworking clothing is something I'm like very comfortable with. That's how I do a lot of my like work with fashion and clothes. Like for instance, a lot of the jeans that I originally made were reworking other pairs of jeans. It wasn't just straight from denim fabric. Um, using like, like I, this was very, very challenging for me because I had never gone from just like basically a huge square of fabric to then this which was crazy for me. So you, you have a, you took a new, you took a big leap here. Yes. Yeah? Um, and it was sparked by the idea of the prom and the Met oh. Gala. Um, you had a mentor, didn't you? Yeah, Kristen Jensen. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about working with Kristen on this? So Kristen is like a second mother to me in a lot of ways. Um, she is the mother of one of my like best friends ever since he'd moved here um, and Kristen and the family lives two doors down from me so the actually this dress form Kristen um got for me to borrow from UMass mm. um I knew absolutely nothing about like draping I didn't even know like draping was a word that people <laughs> used in this kind of context but that was a big part of starting on making my dresses um Kristen has been a huge support and huge resource that I've been using when in working on getting into college and finishing my capstone. There were definitely times where I was having like full like tears the whole nine and I had to call Kristen and be like, please help, things aren't going right. So having a mentor has been a useful process. 100 for you yeah i think that it would not have gotten this far without a mentor terrific yeah. well folks the bell's about to ring and i want to thank alexa for when we talk about last but not least alexa Colley is the definition of this that's our final capstone a wonderful presentation thank you so much alexa Colley.